The National Museum of African Art's current exhibition, World on the Horizon, Swahili Arts Across the Indian Ocean, features over 160 pieces of artwork from an unfamiliar region to many Americans. Zanzibar, Tanzania, a semi-autonomous island on the southeastern coast of Tanzania, is featured many times throughout the exhibit. Historical images of the island's residents and leaders are displayed throughout the exhibit. Visitors are able to point out the Arab and Indian influence attached to its artifacts, such as the Quran and the local door designs. The original African residents can also be spotted in photographs and postcards hung along the walls that display the beginning of a mixed population. Zanzibar today is one of the major tourist attractions in Africa. Known for its beautiful beaches and an assortment of food, it is not until one ventures out to the island that they see the artifacts featured here at the Smithsonian. I've been fascinated by the Swahili culture ever since I met my husband as a young man and heard about his tales of living in Zanzibar. Pamela Washington is a visitor that also contributed to the exhibition. We went together the first time in uh, the early 90s uh, to, to visit and have been going back ever since. And part of what we, my husband has done is he has a uh, website uh, that talks about uh, the history of Zanzibar, the political history of, of Zanzibar and uh, Zanzibari culture and Swahili culture. Over the years, we collected a number of these postcards. Kevin Dumichel, one of the in-house curators for the exhibition, says that this collection is perfect for the museum due to the fact that the Swahili world was always steadily connected to the wider world. He describes it as fascinating due to the different strands of history that have come together to form this region. VOA asked you, Michelle, how and where a museum like the Smithsonian got their hands on such historical and unique artifacts from the Swahili coast. The, the exhibition ranges rather widely. I mean, we have objects that go all the way from the Congo to India, um, but the heart of the exhibition is built around objects from primarily uh, Somalia, Kenya, and Tanzania. And we are actually quite proud in particular to feature over 25 works that are on loan to us actually from the National Museums of Kenya um, on display here in the United States for the first time. Pieces loaned from the National Museums of Kenya and the Bait al-Zubair Museum in Oman display the rich culture that was developed from the influence of trade along the coast. From Zanzibar through the Indian Ocean, this history still impacts the region today. Radia Adam, VOA News, Washington.